tweets. Back to you. Thanks, Mike. In the studio, Gigi Edgley and Joe Cahill. Thanks for coming in. You guys are here in town for the sci-fi conference. Is it a conference? Con. Con. Convention, yeah. Oh, convention. Okay, I saw con. I was like, is that con for a conference? Convention. Okay. And you're an actress working in the sci-fi field and, and yes, yes. Host, host, you've been on a few shows. Yes, I've been in the industry ever since I was like 12 and it's been such an amazing journey. My main body of work in the States is with the Jim Henson Company and the Sci-Fi Channel. So I played a, a, a character about 15 years ago called Chiana on this amazing sci-fi show that has a really huge fan following and then they asked me recently to come back and host the Jim Henson Creature Shop Challenge so I am a Jim Henson addict. So how, how did you get uh, categorized into the sci-fi world? I mean is that mostly what you've worked in? I, I'm just very good at flying spaceships I think. Yeah. And she looks really good in blue. Yeah yeah <laughs> they like to paint me all different colors and I'm like I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh right right you got to go with all that huh? where they just paint your body? Yeah, well, is, sometimes. Is sometimes. it true when they do that, when they paint your body, you have to leave, like, like a hole in the skin somewhere where it's not painted so your skin can breathe? Is that true? Well, I remember hearing that. I'm still alive, supposedly now, so I think I've, I've survived so far. But, yes, there's always been a slight a slight space where one can breathe. Uh-huh. Wow, that sounds that yeah. sounds good. And a lot of makeup putting stuff on your body? or Well, it depends with each different production. It's different. Like, recently, we just did an amazing music video that it was from, it was based on... Well, it's my original song called Closer and I made it with my beautiful boyfriend and we spent like two years preparing it and everything and ordering latex suits and organizing spaceships and oh contact lenses and everything and it was beautiful and we just actually did the um, world premiere at Dragon Con and we put it online mm-hmm. and like three days ago now it's already hit like 5,000 hits yeah, so we're super it, right? excited. This is looking at it. Yeah so I'm here to promote that at this amazing convention as yeah. well. Yeah. So Joe like for the weekend, like what kind of give paint a big picture because this is we've never had this in town. And yeah, I think a first lot of time. people don't realize what it is. Maybe paint a picture of what's going on and what people can see and, and, and who can attend. Well, besides Gigi, yay! You can meet uh, <laughs> Diane Franklin here at the event, uh, Amityville Horrors, mm-hmm. uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Right. She was one of the princesses, okay? So she'll be here, a lot of fun. Michelle Specht, she does uh, a lot of independent fan film stuff. Mm-hmm. Star Trek Continues, which yes. Gigi's done one of their episodes. Uh-huh. And so they'll be doing a panel on that tomorrow evening, and uh, we'll be screening two episodes, and then doing a Q&A following it, which will be a lot of fun. Uh, Dominic Swain from Lolita, uh, all those years ago, and doing a lot of horror stuff since then. Um, we've so got the, Mike, horror, the horror stuff fits in as well? Oh, this? absolutely. Uh-huh. Absolutely. It's, it's all pop culture. Pop culture, Which yeah. means we couldn't have asked for a better location than the Hard Rock. Yeah. And uh, something that's very cool about this particular convention as well is Joe's been very tricky and he's actually centered it around all the hot sci-fi ladies, really. Well, not necessarily hot, strong well, women so of hot, sci-fi. Hot, there you go. Hot and strong. I like it. I like it. <laughs> because you know what? For all these years, they have not been getting the credit they deserve yeah. for being the, the serious actresses on these shows. Uh, it's always centered around the guy. Yeah, yeah. But without all these ladies in the well, back doing What the, about Wonder Woman? We just watched that the other day. Yeah, well, and how amazing is that? It was awesome. My, that I watched it with my five-year-old daughter, and she, you know, she loved it. It. Right, ready to dress up like Wonder Woman now. Yeah. So I mean, even we've had Star Trek captains, and now they've got Discovery, and it's like, oh, the first female Star Trek lead character. Well, no, <laughs> there were other shows where, you know, Star Trek Voyager, oh. where it was a lead female character, but nobody seems to remember that now. Will the will the be will there be Trekkies at this convention? Yes, oh. there will. Yes. Absolutely, we have Trekkies flying in from Texas, Oregon, um, Ohio, Ohio. Um, so we got this is cool. There's a bu- you, I was talking to you guys in the commercial break. A lot of people coming from out of the area. Yeah. This is going to really fill the town up with a bunch of sci-fi junkies. What, yeah. is, what, what do you call the the sci-fi people? Sci-fi. They, Fans, sci-fi yeah. fans. Fans, we're nice now. Fans, back, back, okay. <laughs> you know, years ago they used to call us geeks, nerds. No, yeah. what? <laughs> amazing. What? Uh, but now, of course, it's you know mainstream to be a geek or nerd. Uh-huh. It's okay to do that. Well, it, it's it's interesting, like following the the trend. I mean, like when we were kids. 
there was the comic books and these these heroes and sci-fi heroes and, and characters and now it's like all of that's trending into the into film and into television and shows yeah. and and it's special too because there's lots of craziness going on in this world and it's a really beautiful experience to for a weekend forget about all the craziness anything that does that is and good whatever else mm -hmm. is going on and everyone gets to these conventions and people dress up and they they prepare their costumes for like oh. a whole year don't they like yeah. the cosplay and everything mm -hmm. they meet celebrities that they've you know look, seen from afar for years we do panels we do cocktail parties it's it's a heap of fun is is it free to get in is it cost to get in there is cost uh -huh. we do have uh, three la three levels of tickets you can do a single day for the event uh, it's 1250 uh -huh, okay we are one of the lowest cost cons because um, I like everybody to have money to spend in with the vendors inside once uh -huh. they get there. Then we have uh, a weekend ticket for 20 and then we have a VIP pass for 50 that gets you into a lot of the after hours things. Ooh. We're doing a karaoke party tonight. Do you have anything that gets you into the time machine? <laughs> that's the well, one. If on that's what you, you call it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, it starts tomorrow? It starts tonight. It starts tonight. What time? Uh, 2 p.m. today. The vendor room will open up. And then at 7, we'll be doing the first VIP event, which is in the vinyl room. And it's going to be a karaoke session yes. with all these actors right. and actresses. Yes. Well, it's great to have you guys in. Thanks for coming in this morning. Have Thanks. a great Thanks weekend. Us. Enjoy Lake Tahoe. Thanks for having us. We'll take a quick break and come back with your seven-day Lake Tahoe forecast. Stay with. Up next.